So quiet quitting is blowing up all over the internet right now. And actually, I want you guys to comment below and let me know if you've ever quite quit a job before or if this is something that you would do or you'll actually be trying to do it now. And a few years back, I actually quite quit a job or I did something like it. But at the time, I didn't know what quiet quitting was, but I completely understand why a lot of people are going to be quiet quitting. And I'm going to talk about my experience and what happened with me. So usually what happens is that companies will try to extract as much as they possibly can from their employees. And at the same time, they're trying to pay them as little as they possibly can. And this is why from time to time, you may even come across people or this may have actually happened to you before where you're at this company, you're doing this job and you have a bunch of coworkers, right? And you're all employed to do the very same job. But then one day somebody slips up, they say something that they shouldn't have said. And then the next thing you know, you're making $10 or $20 less per hour doing the exact same job that your coworkers are doing. And it makes you question everything. And then you have some bosses that will even literally give you a poor performance review if you simply show up to work at 9 a.m. and leave at 5 p.m. if those are your regular working hours. So it's kind of like they want you to do the work that you're paid to do, all the work that you're hired to do, and just about everything in your job description, which is what you should do because that's what you signed up for. But then they also want you to maybe come in a bit early to work and also leave a bit late from work and then probably even take some work home, right? They want you to work extra hard. And then at the end of the day, the rewards for working extra hard and putting in all these extra hours usually isn't a lot. And people are now realizing that it's just not a justifiable use of their time. Instead of spending hours and hours at the office, they should just spend that time doing what they want to do because eventually or usually at the end of the day, all they're going to get in return for this is a measly one to 2% yearly increase, which in most cases is just not worth it. Now, I mentioned before that I did something like this before, but at the time I didn't know what quite quitting was, but here's how I found out that some companies are just foul and they're just trying to extract as much as they possibly can from you while paying as little as they possibly can. And so I was working at this job and my boss always had a problem with me showing up at 9 a.m and leaving at 5 p.m. And actually, before I talk about that, just a quick reminder, if you guys like the content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe with the notifications on. This way you never miss the updates of when I post new videos on the channel. Also, you guys can follow me on Instagram. Link is down below, but let's talk about this now, right? So my boss always had a problem with me showing up at 9 a.m. and leaving at 5 p.m. But those were the hours that I was supposed to be working and I just never got it, right? And here's the thing. From time to time, yes, there would be projects that I could work on or that I didn't finish working on for that day. And yes, I could have stayed back for you know half an hour or maybe an hour and finish up those projects or whatever I was working on. But then I realized that if I were to simply just pretend like I was doing work after 5 p.m., my boss would actually walk up and he'd say, hey, Ian, I gotta go, but good work, buddy keep up the good work and don't stay here too late. And then he'd leave and I could also show up 15 minutes early just before he actually got to work and he'd show up and he'd say, Ian, you're working really hard. Thanks for all the hard work you're doing around here. And he would think that I'm actually going above and beyond when in reality, I wasn't doing anything more than I was supposed to do. Now, I was just coming in a little bit early and leaving a little late. And basically I was kind of like finessing the system or finessing my boss because he thought that I was actually doing extra work when I wasn't. Now, how did I get to this point? Well, I realized that some of my coworkers who were paid the same amount of money to do the same exact job were slackers. They weren't performing. In fact, they were underperforming, but they were never in a rush to leave the office. And so it was perceived that they were working harder than me when that was absolutely 1000% not the case. Now, this was a personal experiment. And like I said before, I didn't know anything about quiet quitting, but at the time, what this experiment showed me is that if you stay at work late and they think that you're going above and beyond, that is all that really matters. And it's kind of just like the perception that, hey, this person or Ian 
is working extra hard and doing more than what he's required to do. And the company is getting more than what they're paying for. And because of this, I realized that my boss probably really didn't care if I was actually working on a project late or not or the complexity of what I was working on. It's just the fact that I was working later than I was supposed to work that actually made him feel satisfied, which is just completely weird. So after this, when I realized that this was the way to finesse the system and kind of like make my boss happy and also keep him off my back, that actually made me realize that similarly, I could show up to work, I could do the very bare minimum. And when I say very bare minimum, I don't mean in a bad way, like underperforming, but I would do the job to the best of my abilities. But at the same time, I just would not be going above and beyond if I wasn't being paid to do it. And if I did that and I kept on doing that and he thought that I was working harder than I was supposed to work and harder than I was paid to work, then everything would be fine. And at the end of the year, I could actually get a really good performance review and he'd probably bring me up from this measly one to 2% salary increase to like a four, five, or even a 6% increase. So with that said, I completely understand why a lot of people are quite quitting because it's just kind of like a hustle to kind of like squeeze more out of the employees without actually paying for it. And like I mentioned before, most people are only getting like a measly one to 2% salary increase year over year. And then when you take into account all the extra hours and all the extra work, that 2% salary increase is just not worth it. And then they'd rather just spend that time after work, not working and spending it with their family or doing things that they actually would like to do instead. Now, if you actually combine this with the fact that there was a study done earlier on this year, which show that people who switch jobs or hop jobs every two to three years, over 50% or over half of these people are getting a salary increase by at least 10% each time. So if you wanna climb the ranks and you wanna start earning more money, then you could stay at this old job, you could work extra hard, you could put in all these extra hours, and you may get that two or 3% bump every year, but all you gotta do is to go into work, do exactly what you're paid to do, then leave, spend your free time doing what you want to do, and every two to three years you find a new job and you can get a 10% increase or more. Now, the question is this, should you actually quite quit? And is this something that you should actually be doing? And this is totally up to you, but like I mentioned before in my experience or with my experience, companies are just trying to get as much as they can from you without paying you more. If you think about it, the only reason that you're working right now is because you have responsibilities and you actually want the money. And so you may be saying, well, Ian, or some of you guys may watch and you may say, Ian, no, I love my job. I love working here. I love what I do. But if I offered you the same exact salary that you're making right now and you could leave your job and stay at home or just go about your business and do whatever you wanted to do every single day and every single month, regardless of what you did, that same salary would show up in your checking account, then I'm pretty sure that 99.99% .99 of the people that are watching this video would take that salary and they would go spend the time doing whatever they wanted to do instead. So the point is this, at the end of the day, the only reason you're working is to earn money. And while quite quitting may sound like a bad thing to do, I don't think it's actually bad as long as you're not shortchanging the company, as long as you're not like underperforming, and as long as you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Because if you're underperforming, then that would be an issue. But if you're actually doing what you're supposed to be doing, like you're showing up to work on time, you're leaving on time, you're fulfilling all your daily tasks, you're doing what you agreed to do as per your job description, then I wouldn't even call it quite quit. Quitting. I would call it just doing your job because that's what it is. You're just doing your job and your company or your manager wants you to spend the weekends or if they want you to spend the weekends doing more work, then there needs to be some form of compensation because you're not a slave and you must be compensated for your time. That's the main reason or the only reason you were there in this job in the first place. So quiet quitting has been around for a very long time and people have been doing it all along. It just wasn't known as quiet quitting. And like I said, I don't think it's actually quiet quitting. I think it's just doing your job. If you're thinking about quiet quitting, this is what I would say to you, right? So go into your job, do exactly what you're paid to do, do it to the best of your abilities. Don't shortchange your employer, don't slack off, don't underperform like some of my past coworkers who just weren't doing anything. 
Just do your job to the best of your abilities, but always remember that this is just a job. It's just a means for you to earn an income and you have a life outside of this job. And whenever it's time for you to leave this job, you should be able to leave without feeling guilty. And you need to remember that you have a life outside and it's perfectly normal that you go and spend this time away from your job to do whatever you want to do. Now, if it gets to the point where you're just unmotivated and you just feel like you want to do like the bare minimum or you want to shortchange your employer, then maybe you should start looking for a new job or find a new opportunity. But don't be like one of these employees or one of these people that are always grumpy, always got their face made up, always in a bad mood at work. And like I said before, just go and do your job and do what you're paid to do. And when the time is up, leave and go about your business. So comment down below, let me know what you think about quiet quitting and let me know if you've ever done it before or if it's something that you're considering doing now. And also if you guys ever had an experience where you've had to quiet quit, you've just had a terrible employer and maybe you had like an experience like me where you did like some experiment to see how they would react or what would happen if there was a difference with you doing less work or more work or if your coworkers weren't doing what they were supposed to do or if they were slacking off at work, comment down below, let me know what that experience was like and how that turned out. And as always, all the best and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one.